Okay, I think we are on in both places. So I got Instagram Live. Hey! Okay, welcome. I'm going to be watching the chats um, to see who's here. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Okay. Awesome. Good. Thanks for the thumbs up. I know this is a little bit off kilter. I'm trying to get both screens here. So thank you. Thank you for being here. So today is day one of Make Time For You, your seven day self-care reset. And I didn't plan to, to, to do this, but I think maybe over communicating is better, especially right now. Than under communicating. Hi Jojo! Yay! So I wanted to just make myself available for whatever questions are coming up to hear how it's going for all of you. Um, I, I really I want to know. I think I need more communication. I want to know how you're doing. Hi Hana! Um, so how's it going? Even if you aren't doing the self-care reset you might be jumping on here just to say hi. So that's, I love that. Um, and I'll say actually while I'm starting, just because uh, this maybe pertains to everybody, but if you are a part of Burnout Proof Boot Camp, then we have a live session planned for this Wednesday, March 25th, and um, everyone is welcome. If you have ever registered for our, or participated in Burnout Proof Boot Camp, then you are forever a member of that group and you can attend any and all live sessions and I really welcome you to be there because I want, especially right now, I want that to be a place where you can get support. So it will be, it will be a supportive space if you're looking for that, then um, join us. Hello everybody that's joining, I'm so excited to see all your names. Um, and Kimberly, yay, I get to say hi again. Awesome. Okay, so, so Burnout Proof Boot Camp, we have a live session happening on Wednesday. All the information is in your email and in your course. Um, a new session of Burnout Proof Boot Camp begins April 15th. So if you're not already a part of that group and that course and you want to be, then more information is going to be coming on that soon. It is a six-week self-care, really actually in-depth course um, that gives you 1.5 CEUs. So for interpreters who are already um, working on CEUs and engaged in professional development, it fulfills some of that requirement. Plus, you get to just really take time um, for yourself. So. I love getting to do both of those things together. Hi Mandy and Kimberly. Yay, I'm so glad you guys are all here. And let me see in the Facebook Live group. Okay, Joe Joe says, I'm noticing I'm in observer mode today, seeing what I need, how I'm responding to any given moment. I'm so glad. And I'm gonna try and read both comments from both sides because we have people who aren't seeing us. And yay, Ange, I'm glad you're here. Jesse says, for me, what do you want more of in your life and why is it important is difficult. I know I want more of, but it's hard to get there. Yes, yeah, it can be. So Jesse, for you, is it that you aren't sure exactly what you want more of? Or is it that you know what it is, but you're not sure how to make it happen? I want to hear more about that because I have a feeling that you're not alone in asking that question um, and so I'd love to get really specific and I appreciate you um, sharing what's going on for you so I just want to make sure Facebook live is giving me a few um, a few little messages here so let me know on Facebook Live if you're here. Give me, okay, good. 
Jesse's saying, I know what I want more of. Okay, awesome. But I'm not sure how to make it happen. That is a fantastic question because sometimes, and it depends if you're willing to share what you do want more of, I can speak specifically to it. But if you want to keep that private, um, I'll start talking in general. Uh, so sometimes we, we know what we want, but we don't know how to get there. And that's okay. That's actually perfect. Our job is to define the what and to define it really clearly. So if you don't see the path yet for how you're going to get there, um, that's okay. Don't worry about that. That's the future. And if, if you know about the three kinds of business or the, the yards that I like to talk about, um, the future is outside of your yard. That's not our control. I can't control what's going to happen in the future. What I can control is what I'm choosing to do and focus on and relate with right now. And so for you, the what is what you can control. It's what you can define. So I would invite you to get even more clear about the what, about um, how it feels, what it looks like, what else in your life would need to shift in order for you to to have or be or do that thing. Um, so there's lots of really juicy questions that you can ask yourself to, to kind of fill in the picture, but the more you can get specific about the what, then the how can unfold. And there's um, an exercise that I like to do in Burnout Proof Boot Camp, which is, um, we're not going to do it right now, but but it really helps you to get clear on the what. And the last question that I ask, which is what I want to leave you with, is so now that you're super clear on what you want, what you want more of, what is the very next tiniest baby step? And I love baby steps. What's the tiniest baby step that's going to help just move you towards that? So it's not, you're not thinking, what are all the steps I need to do to get there? Um, you know, what's the big picture? We're talking about today. Like, what is one tiny thing you can do today that will help move you toward whatever that thing is? So it, we're talking in real nebulous terms. But, um, but whether that's a feeling of peace, whether that is um, to have a, a, a new home, a different place to live. Um, and, and right now, what we want it is very different, possibly, because of the situation that we're in. So, hope that helps. Oh, and Jesse's adding more here. Control. I get bothered by the smallest things. I need to take a break and slow down. Yeah, that it's. There's so much out of our control. I know. Um, I'm looking on Instagram Live here to see. Oh, yay! Welcome everybody. Okay. So this is exactly what we're doing here. Jesse asked a great question. We are, I'm here to answer questions about your first day of Make Time For You, of your self-care reset. And uh, maybe just, to, I'm just going to give you, as I'm waiting for more questions, I'm just going to give you a little overview of what we're doing if you're like, ah, I don't know what's going on. So, um, yeah. Today is the first day of the seven day self care reset. And what you're going to do every day is you're going to do your five minute self care activity, whatever you decided that that was going to be. And if you would right now, as we're, um, as we're all here together, would you write in the chat what your self care, what your five minute activity is? and what your anchor is, because these are gonna help a lot of other people to um, to get theirs defined if they haven't already. And I'm looking at the comments here. Um, and conversation enhanced learning, and I remember, is that Cynthia, I believe? I remember looking at your name and thinking, I wanna put that face with that name. Uh, says, today I was able to write a piece related to our current, oops, Sorry, just a second. Okay. Related to our current family events, that was my self-care reset. Awesome. Writing. That's that's beautiful. Um, wonderful. And Anne-Marie says, I'm looking forward to catching up later tonight or tomorrow morning. Awesome. Uh, yes. I, I And the, you said yes. I think it was about the Cynthia. Uh, 
uh, which I think might be Aaron, I'm trying to remember, it says using the Breathe app on my Apple Watch when I sit down with my morning coffee. Awesome. So I just want to highlight because I have an example here. Um, so Dirty Charmed has the self-care habit and the anchor, what it's tied to. So when she sits down for, when you sit down for your morning coffee, that's the anchor, then you remember to use your Apple Watch and do the breathing feature on it. I love it. Wonderful. Kimberly says, my self-care routine will include waking up and journaling with coffee in the bathtub with a face mask and my favorite playlist. Oh my gosh. That's like a self-care sandwich. That is like a juicy, juicy sandwich. And I love it, Kimberly. And I hope that that is like that that works out just how you want it every day. I want to encourage everybody though, and especially if you find yourself going, ah, I don't know when I can make time for all this. If you're feeling stressed or, um, or like it's hard to fit your self-care in, I want you to really focus on one five minute activity to keep it very simple for your brain, for your body, for your heart, for your nervous system. Um, sometimes all you need is that space it doesn't we don't have to do a lot of things but I love all of those things so I'm totally in support okay awesome thank you Cynthia okay Cynthia cool and Aaron oh good I love it uh, Kimberly says my anchor is my daily hygiene needs yeah so when you're doing your daily daily hygiene then you know that you're gonna do your self-care I love it okay I'm looking in live Deb says 10 to 15 minutes of meditation is their self-care activity. Awesome. Um, Jesse says, thank you. Yes, I'm so glad that you're here, Jesse. Ask questions. Hi, Anne. Yay. Uh, okay, so Jesse says, I'll journal after making my coffee. Started today. Perfect. Beautiful. So coffee is the anchor. Journaling is the habit. And says, Smiling, brain-free meditation activity and an AM walk. Awesome. And Angie, I know you already have a good self-care foundation. So once you've got, like, I know your morning walk is your, is your self-care. Now you're adding in this smiling, brain-free meditation. So that's, or, or, actually, I think it's the smiling brain-free meditation. I'm saying it wrong. Um, anyway, I love that now you're, you're, you're adding something to your routine. Anne says, can't stay on long, but here goes. Anchor is start the coffee. Activity is using the insight timer. Sarah Blondin, coming home to yourself, 10 day intro. Yay, Anne. I love her. She just, she melts me every time. Um, I hope that's supportive for you. Uh, Joanna says, I was able to do yoga. Yay. Especially being home with a toddler. It's just like such a celebration to get any, any bit. Um, yoga with Adrienne. Isn't she great? Thanks for the tip. My anchor is my shower away from my four-year-old. That's like, that's a vacation right there. I remember being excited about getting a shower. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that. Um, okay. I see over here in Instagram live, Carissa says, mine is going to be to exercise after work today. I need a good workout. Excellent. That was mine too. So we can... We can high five there because I had my work time in the morning. I got, I finished. I, one of the things about working from home, and I don't know if others are finding this now if you're doing work at home, sometimes it is hard and I've been working from home for a while, but I struggle with cutting myself off because I just want to do one more thing and I love my work. So I just, I just keep working. Yeah, other people are relating. Um, so I was proud of myself today. I said, 11 a.m., I'm going to stop working. I'm going to do my workout. And I did it. So Carissa, let me know once you've done yours. I want to see. Uh, Cynthia says, so if writing leads me to meditation, then my anchor would be my writing, correct? That's a fantastic question. So if you already have a writing habit, if that is something that you don't miss in your like like you don't skip that it happens consistently in your day then yes that could be your anchor and then meditation would be the new habit you want to make sure that the anchor is something that you don't have to think about that's automatic so um, again things like for people who drink coffee or make coffee for others 
coffee, that could be a great anchor because we don't forget. Brushing your teeth, I always say, is an anchor. Sometimes when you're working at home, I do forget in the morning to brush my teeth very early. Um, going to the bathroom, different, like, our, our physical needs can be great anchors because we often don't miss them. Um, but yes, hopefully that answers the question, Cynthia. Okay, yeah, virtual high five, awesome. Okay, sweet. Um, what else? Oh, I'm scrolling here. Yay, Anne is doing yoga with Adrian too. Isn't she great? I, she's just, Salwa is the one that turned me on to her and I just, I love her. She feels like a friend. Um, okay, yay. Let me think if there's anything else. So you're doing your five minutes of self-care. You're celebrating. Don't forget the celebration. You gotta, we want our bodies to feel it. You wanna take in the goodness that you just gave yourself when you did your self-care. Um, and then share it with other people. So get a t a, uh, an accountability buddy. Send them a message and say, I did it for the day. Post on Instagram or in our Facebook group, somewhere where you're gonna be connecting with other people. You guys, there's 300 people doing this with us, so you're bound to find someone that you can uh, connect with, that maybe you share friends in common. Um, you know, interpreting is a small world. So uh, use that, use our community. So you're sharing, and then there's a short video in the course uh, the course is, and I want to make sure that this is clear because I've had questions and I know it gets a little bit confusing. So I have, I have a, a school called Burnout Proof Academy. Uh, it's online. It's at burnoutproof.me. Okay. In that school, I have a bunch of courses. One of them is Burnout Proof Bootcamp. One of them is Make Time For You. So this Make Time For You course that you're enrolled in is a course on Burnout Proof Academy. And if you have already uh, registered for any of my other courses, you have a login that you already created. And it's gonna want you to put in that login when you go to sign up or to go in to make time for you, okay? So that's one thing that's been confusing and I totally understand why that's confusing. So uh, I wanna make that more clear. Okay, so you put in your login, you go in, and then you're going to see all of our lessons. There's the welcome lesson, there's the self-care resources that are there for you if you want some ideas or specific self-care uh, things to help you. Um, and then there's comments so you can be connecting with each other. And then each day there's one new video that's released, that's posted there. Short, short video, they're all three minutes or less. Um, just giving you a little bit uh, some tips or um, more questions for reflection it's just a little bit more content in there for you if you want more support on this journey you can watch that video I will email you in the morning every day just to say hey your videos there you can go check it out okay those are all the pieces um, and again I'm leaning towards over communicating just to make sure that Everyone gets what they need, however that happens. Um, yay! So I'm just about done, unless anyone else has any more questions, uh, or if you want to share what your self-care activity for today is, and what your anchor is, then I love, I'd love to hear it, and I know other people really want to hear too. It's really helpful. Um, thank you, Cynthia. I'm so glad you guys are here. Stephanie, yay, Stephanie says her self-care activity is journaling, awesome. And what's your anchor? Do you have it tied to something? And this is coming from the welcome guide that you filled out, I filled mine out. I'm doing this with you. Physical self-care is one of my, it's, it's my hardest one. Um, I love the emotional self-care, I love the spiritual self-care, the mental self-care. Physical is where I, I struggle and where I often need more structure. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and so anchoring it to something that is already a habit is going to make this really um, powerful. So uh, Nikki says, sorry, I missed this. We'll listen to the replay. Awesome. Anne says, thank you, Bree and all of you. I feel much less alone. I'm so glad. That was one of my biggest goals for getting us together, for just having this space 
for us all to connect with each other is to know that you are not alone. So please keep reaching out here in the group, Instagram. There's so many ways to connect. Please take advantage. Uh, Mary is saying walking outside and the anchor is new Pokemon Go with my daughter. I love it. Or did I get those backwards? Yeah. So the anchor is what what is already a habit and maybe your walk is the habit um, and the new activity is Pokemon Go. Mary, I love Pokemon Go. My kids and I, well, our whole family have, have had um, different amounts of that being our family activity. It's so fun. So yay. I love that. Stephanie says, I need to be taking care of myself so that I can be more patient with others, more able to be tolerant of the ups and downs. Yeah. Everyone is having a lot of ups and downs right now, us included. So don't put some kind of crazy patient on yourself that you're not going to be one of those people. That being said, this helps us to, um, to be a little more sturdy when we're taking care of ourselves too. So I'm glad to hear that you're doing that. And the habit is um, walking, walking, my new, new as I'm walking almost daily. Maybe that's something that you're doing that's new. Yay, okay, in the uh, Facebook Live group, Angela Wonder, and she says, I'm trying to journal today. Today was my thankfulness entry and it's full of everything I have. I love that. Gratitude is a huge, <clears throat> um, a, a very potent self-care practice. So I love that, thankfulness. And then Joe said, my anchor, check my calendar every morning. Yeah, so something you, that's a habit. That's a great one. I haven't mentioned that. If you have a habit of opening up your calendar and checking it in the morning, that can trigger you to do your self-care because you're checking your calendar and then you go, oh, I need to do this next thing. So an activity is to choose to quote and journal. I love that. Um, Angela Wonder says, no anchor. Okay, so I would encourage you, <clears throat> if you're making a new habit out of journaling, if that's not already a habit, then I would encourage you to tie it to something that is already a habit. For example, um, you could put your journal on your pillow uh, in the morning when you get out of bed, you set your journal on your pillow, and so then you're triggered when you come to bed, you see your journal, and you say, okay, when I'm getting in bed, that's when I write my journal for the day. That's just a, an example. But um, anchoring it to something that's already a habit can be super helpful. Hi, Bill Fisher. I'm happy to see you. Um, we're talking about self-care and we're doing a, a challenge this week of five minutes a day of self-care. So we're sharing all, all of these, um, what's working and ideas. <clears throat> Joanna says, thank you. I lost my connection. Yeah, understood. Okay. Well, the recording will be here. Um, and Anne is leaving. Okay. Awesome. I love you all. So happy to get to have this time together. So any last questions before we say goodbye? Um, and I'm happy to do more of these if they feel helpful, even just little check-ins during the week, just because it's nice to know we're not alone and you're not alone. So keep reaching out, keep tagging me in things, especially on Instagram. I'm learning how to use all of these features and I just love getting to connect with you all. So I love you, Stephanie, so much. Sending, <clears throat> oh, I'm getting a tickle in my throat. Just sending so much love to everyone right now um, and know that I'm here, uh, here to support, here, just here for you. So awesome. Yay. I'm so glad that was helpful. Take care, you guys. All right. Bye.